This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Kentucky Derby 141 now just two weeks away. The established favorite in a landslide is American Pharaoh. The Arkansas Derby winner will be the morning line favorite after winning at Oaklawn by eight links. D Wayne Lucas has won the run for the roses four times and he is training Mr. Z and Dortmund. Lucas thinks Dortmund is a contender and overall Derby 141 is more wide open than you might think. Well, the favorites, obvious, it's American Pharoah, in my opinion, but I will say this, I think it's the best derby feel we've had in maybe the last 10, 12 years. Uh, really strong from top to bottom. You could probably take six or seven of these horses and say any one of these would could be a favorite. Or if you took the first four or five that are being talked about and, and uh, act like they could be favorites. Any one of them on any other year might have been the favorite too, so it's a hell of a field. The Jackson County baseball team lost the first five games of the season. Since then, the Generals have won four out of their last five. The Leslie County Eagles hosting those Generals. Uh, Leslie County trying to end a three-game losing skid. Uh, both starting pitchers dealing early. Eagles starting starter Seth Melton records a pair of strikeouts in the top of the first. One, two, sit down. Uh, Jackson County starter Aaron Duncan returns the favor versus Melton in the bottom half of the inning. So let's go bottom second now. Duncan with a nice move to first. There's one pickoff. How about a pair of pickoffs? Next base runner Dustin Davidson, he's caught out at first. Let's go to the third inning now. Dalton Spurlock rips a two out single in their center field. That would turn out very, very big. After stealing second, Spurlock goes for third. Throw sails over the third baseman. He's going to come on in and score. This game was suspended in the sixth inning with Jackson County leading 7-5. A three-game sweep for the baseball Cats over Tennessee this past weekend. The first time in history UK has swept the balls at home in a three-game series. The Southeastern Conference's pitcher of the week is Zach Logue. He got his first career save in game two over UT over the weekend. And then on the next day, he pitched a 2.2 shutout innings in relief. Uh, first SEC sweep for Kentucky since 2012. All right, now to the pros. Before tonight's game, Reds manager Brian Price went on a five-minute profane rant that included 77 F-bombs. Price letting a group of about 10 reporters, no TV people, know that he does not like to share information with the media that could be used for opponents' advantage. Well, maybe if the Reds to to could strike. win tonight in Milwaukee, that would straighten up a little bit. The Reds have lost four straight, seven out of their last eight. We starting to fit two runners on. That's Brian Pena making the incredible catch there. Doubles off the runner at first. Willie Peralta with the bunt pop up that Pena caught. Top six now. Reds lean one nothing. Zach Cozart bang. Three run Jack. Second homer of the year for Cozart. And the Reds lead four to nothing. Next inning, Joey Votto. He's banging on Peralta as well. Goes opposite field. That's his fifth homer of the year. Reds now lead 6-0. Anthony DiScalafani goes eight innings, only allows two hits and strikes out four. Reds win 6-1. to one. Sheldon Clark guard Chase Parsley will sign uh, with UPike. Not sure when, but that's who will sign with. All right. Thank you, Jamie. All right. We'll wrap it up after this.